guy Logan? Hi. The boat keys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to take you on a tour on our 2022 Corsair boat. I have the option to take the ATV or walk or even um, take the car. Today we're going to take the sea dude only because we haven't started in a while and it's not good if you don't because you want to make sure that it will start and the battery doesn't die. Let's go! Hey guys, so Logan and I are on the sea dew. We're ready to take off uh, to go to our boat. Oh, what a good man. Yes, we did it. Oops. Whoops. Not Ooh. the back. No. I forgot the key for the boat. And she's so. making me go back for them. <laughs> uh, Logan, remember you're the you're the first mate. Okay, I'm just a crew. So first mate does more. So I'm just waiting for uh, Logan to come back. He's taking his sweet time. Although it was my fault because I forgot the boat key and I'm locked out here. So we're just waiting for now. But in the meantime, I'm trying to find a good place for the GoPro. So in that way you can see both angles of the boat. When we bought this boat, the boat was pretty much bare minimum. It was basic. The only extra feature this came with was a live wall which I'm going to show you after. This part here is our dock. So it's, if you notice that our decking over here is empty. So it makes it so much easier to fish. We did buy a Yeti cooler when we're out here on long days fishing. The one thing that's really nice about this boat it has a lot of extra storage. Is we decided to put our portable folding chairs or camping chairs in there with our portable camping table, which we end up using when we want to eat or when we just want to relax and when we're out fishing. You see we have more storage. The only thing is with these storage is it can't fit our fishing rods which is why we end up getting rod holders. Over here is where all the electrical components are. So if you see this is our pump system because we do have a live well um, and it also comes with uh, hose that we can attach. Here we've got two batteries so we have the option to use uh, one battery or two batteries. We use the two batteries when we're obviously moving but if we're just sitting and we're fishing we'll just move it down to one battery so we don't end up using both batteries up in case one dies. This is our live well. Here is a hose that comes with it. You just attach it like that. So up here, you can climb on it, but we're gonna have to find a better system on having to go up here just because our, our son kind of struggles to climb up and we really don't want him to damage the boat. So my husband's thinking of putting some step ladders probably on this side, something that you can fold up. Here is a door, so it has a hook mechanism here to hold on to the door. And you just push it down oh, until you hear a click. Hey guys, so welcome to the inside of our boat. So this is what I guess sometimes is referred to the pilot house. Pretty much seats six people, seven people comfortably. And some people can sit out front or in the back. Allowed to sit about 10 people. It's also depending on your weight. You, some of the features that we end up adding on here that didn't come with it. Install our Hummingbird um, fish finder. It also is a navigation system, so it does have GPS. Same, you're able to find your way back. Um, over here is we've got our navigation lights, our wipers. 
to be honest with our wipers we're not really impressed with it just because it just seems like it's not calibrated properly you got the bilge um the cabin lights the horn we have the accessories so any accessories that you add on so for example if we added um, any other extra lights here we buy our fish finder which we have to turn on it does have a 12 volt volt uh, cigarette lighter which we use to charge up our phones my husband bought this phone holder and it really secures his phone he didn't want to drill anything on the metal so he decided to use something that you can just stick on and so far it's done really really well it doesn't even make the phone shake so this is a lightning charger so it charges the phone really really quick when you need it it also has additional uh, usb ports supposed to like give you that comfort where you're bouncing up and down but i just don't think that we've set it out right because it it, it feels rough like the seats are comfortable in itself but when you're riding uh, during rough waters it's supposed to give you that pump up here some extra clothes extra towels and if you look down here we've got more storage behind the seats and if i flip this open you'll see that we have our portable barbecue so we also have more storage in here which we never really use because we don't even know what to put in there and this is pretty cool it's a cup holder these things adjust so you can put even bigger drinks in here if you need and just more storage over here at the bottom here is like what we keep is our important documents in a waterproof container that we got at princess auto and extra life jackets and it's supposed to be dry storage and it's surrounded by the foam the foam is to help soften the noise from the waves hitting the boat and i've got my own storage over here we bought this garbage bin from amazon this keeps everything neat so this is a glove box i have extra plastic bags in here um dog poop bags sunscreen and all that stuff and over here we've got more storage we put our extra paddles in there you know and we've got more tow ropes my son's pillow we end up getting these at home depot these are pretty cool so we just attach our batteries on it and turn on the fan because it can get hot in here some steps to go to the front and the front this is where we keep our other anchor so there's water we've got a self drainage system going on over there our horn if you looked at my other youtube video i installed those uh, rod holders we also put these bungee cords on just to secure the rods because we were worried that if we were riding in rough water our rods would fall out so we just added that as an extra feature but when we did drive without the bungee cords the rods were pretty secure if you see the canadian flags over there we had added that as well just to give it some character these two seats it has the option to turn into a bed but that's something that it never came with because we bought the boat pretty much basic because it didn't come with that option we decided to put a table so i'll show you how that works here's a pole that i've just attached to the bottom and then i just put that on and voila you've got a nice table so you can still walk around it just like how i did it right there so I'm going to set up how we normally would set this thing up if we're sitting down and we just want to lounge. There is lots of room here. I'm able to cook while people relax so that's a tour of our boat i hope you enjoyed it remember to click and subscribe if you have any comments or even ideas that we can add more to this boat that would be great
are on our way back. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh no, we're drifting. Any boats behind us? No.